Hi, my name is Sean from Event Lighting. Today I'm here to show you some of our new products. We've got the DMX RT recorder trigger, we've got the DMX RT wall, and then we've got the Control 16 and the PAR RGBW 5X8, which have both been around a little bit longer than those two. For today's setup, I'm going to show you how to utilize the DMX RT with the wall plate and how you would program some basic shows. So let's get started. First of all, I'm going to pull up the red on my controller, which you'll see is going from the controller to the RT and then out into the fixture. Once I'm ready to record a show, I'm just going to go to the menu, go record show. I have the option to give it a name. I also have the option to choose manual, semi-auto or auto. I'm going to pick manual, which means I have to select to start. Once I've done that, I go to start record, click that. We will go into a waiting to start period. Once I'm ready to go, I hit enter again. Now I'm just going to record some basic lighting movements. On the screen on the DMX RT, you'll see how long it's been going for as well. And once you've finished, just click enter and it'll stop the record. Now that I've recorded my first show, I can turn off the fixture, unplug the DMX input, and scroll through the menu to where I find play show. Once I find that, it'll be the option of show. You can say no file. You can go through and find all the shows you've already made. I'm gonna select the first one I've just created and you get the option to loop play or one play. If I select loop play, it'll continuously go. I'm just going to select one play and it will just scroll through for the time that I've recorded. Once I've chosen that, I click start play and the fixture will begin from when I recorded. Okay, now that I've recorded my first show, it's time to trigger that show through the DMX RT wall. Basically, I'm just going to hit menu. I'm going to go down to trigger event. I'm going to go to trigger one, which is the top left here. I'm going to choose the name, which show, what modes, I'm going to go toggle trigger and I'm gonna confirm and save. Now that I've done that, I can just click this top trigger and it'll activate the light exactly how I programmed it. It'll run through and if I wanna turn it off, if it's set to a run through, it'll just stop at the end of its time or if it's on loop, it'll continuously go until you click it off. Another feature for activating the playbacks is you can actually set an auto trigger. Basically what that means is that whenever the DMX RT comes on, that scene will play. So that's what I've done now is I've set one of the triggers. So I'm just gonna unplug and replug in the, the programmer. And then you'll see it's come online straight away. If you ever wanna stop any of the triggers or the events, just go into the menu, stop TR event. It'll show which trigger is actually playing. Click enter and it'll stop. Okay, now you've seen how easy it is to operate the DMX RT and the DMX RT wall. You can queue up to six triggers with this wall plate but the DMX RT does come with micro SD storage and you can record as many shows as you want until you fill up the card, which from my experience is a fair bit. If you have any questions, get in contact with the sales team and we'll be happy to help out. Thanks for watching.